perfectly healthy, mischievous three-year-old, and then all of a sudden, your life turns up to, upside down. And that's what happened to the family of little Isla here. She, you, you want to wave to your friends? Quickly wave to your friends. Say hi. Her mum, Leanne, sister, Addison, brother, Jackson, dad, Andrew, they can all wave. Leanne, what happened last June? Um, so Isla just started acting completely not like herself and I took her to the doctor numerous times and it was always, she's three, she's got a virus and, um, and then I one day just said, I need a blood test. There's, she's not right and we ended up in emergency and then she was, um, they found leukaemia cells and um, we ended up at the children's. How tough is that to cope with when you've got what you think is a perfectly three-year-old and that horrible, horrible word comes oh, out? It was the worst day of our lives. It was just heartbreaking. But um, we're so lucky because we have the most amazing family and friends and they just all rallied around us and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her now. She's. Uh, I'm, I will ask Isla a question in a second. Hey, hey, Isla. Isla, what are your favourite things to do? Do you like dancing? Like dancing? Yeah. Why do you like dancing? Because yeah. because I love dancing. She loves dancing, so she still gets a chance to do that. Still regular treatment. What sort of treatment does she get? Yeah, so um, we're we're in about a, we're at the end of our ten month intense chemo um, to get rid of it, um, and um, we're about a month off starting maintenance. Ooh. We can let her go for yeah. one yet. <laughs> we're, we're about a month off starting maintenance, and um, yeah, so things are looking much brighter at the moment. And very quickly, she had a concert earlier this year. How did you feel when she, she was on the stage? Yeah, the end of last year, she didn't dance for six months because we were in hospital for most of it. Um, and then she got up on stage in November last year and did her whole concert. And I don't think there was a dry eye, actually. It was amazing. Yeah. Well, good luck to you and your family. Good luck to little Isla. <laughs> Once again, it is great to have someone looking like a normal four-year-old after such a big battle, guys. Indeed it is. Thanks, Nick.